What was the Hippo Bill? Short answer? The American Hippo Bill was a piece of legislation that was proposed back in 1910. And no, it was not some clever name for a proposal to combat obesity. The bill sought to import the African mammal to the southern United States, specifically Louisiana, so they could be used as a source of meat. Long answer? In order to understand this odd proposal of a bill, you have to understand the state of the US at that time. During the turn of the 20th century, immigration was on the rise, as was the urbanization of the general populace. This, combined with other factors such as the rising price of meat, meant that the demand for cow carcass just couldn't be met. Enter Frederick Russell Burnham and Fritz Duquesne. While the two did not have much in common, they shared an affinity for big game hunting. This led them to think the hippopotamus was the solution to this so-called meat question. Their reasoning was that cows, sheep, pigs, and the like had already been successfully imported to the US without issue. Hippos were merely the next logical step. As to the question of how to convince the American consumer, USDA researcher William Newton Irwin thought it was merely taboo, and the only reason they weren't already eating hippo was because, quote, nobody ever told them it was the proper thing to do. The idea also caught the attention of Louisiana Congressman Robert Broussard. He saw the introduction of the hippo as not only answering the meat question, but also helping him with the problem his state was facing. A flower known as the water hyacinth had unintentionally been introduced to the bayou in the late 1800s, and had since taken over much of the watershed, devastating the local fish population. Broussard thought the hippo could be used to help clean out this invasive species. There was also the added bonus of the hippo being able to live in areas where cattle simply couldn't. And so, the three men started the New Food Supply Society to further explore this idea. If you ask me though, I think the name sounds a lot more like a front for Soylent Green than Hippopotamus. But I digress. In 1910, Congressman Broussard officially introduced the Hippo Bill. It sought $250,000 or roughly $6 million in today's money to acquire and import hippos and other useful animals to the southern United States. And the bill was actually applauded by many citizens. It even received praise from the New York Times who said hippo tasted, quote, like lake cow bacon. Whatever that means. But the last time I checked, hippos weren't exactly roaming the vast Louisiana countryside, and McDonald's wasn't exactly selling the filet Unless it's one of those secret menu items I don't know about. So what happened? While it's unknown exactly why the proposal fell apart, the best guess is that it just kind of fizzled out over a long period of time. There was supposed to be an expedition to Africa to scout out potential species, but that fell through. The bill never got proposed again, and eventually the Department of Agriculture just struck down the idea outright, calling it terrible, and suggested the US focus on its beef. Their proposal was to reform the marshy landscapes and turn them into viable farmland. And that ended up being the route America would take to solve this meat question it had been confronted with. We got better at raising more of the same animal in more places, and that led the industry to where it is today, ultimately leaving the hippo bill a mere what if. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Short Answer Long Answer. This was actually fascinating for me to research, especially when it comes to Burnham and Duquesne. Honestly, those guys deserve a whole separate video all on their own. That said, if you want to learn more about what I covered in this video, I've left some links in the description to some great articles that I used to research it. And one of them goes way more in depth than I did. I don't know about you guys, but I am glad this bill failed. I've played Zoo Tycoon. Those things are monsters. But yeah, I hope you learned something new. And if you like what I do here, be sure to like the video, and if you really want to support me, you can hit that subscribe button. And if there's any specific topic you want me to tackle, leave it down below. Thanks again for watching, I will see you all next time.